What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video, we're going to fix an iPhone, iPad or iPod touch that is stuck in recovery mode and is no longer powering on. And of course it's broken using Dr. Phone Repair. Now this program is by Wondershare, the sponsors of this video, and we're going to use it in order to fix the, um, the issue. Now if you want to get the program, it's available in here on drphone.wondershare.com slash iOS system recovery .html. Now the program is available and it works for both Windows and Mac OS, but I'm going to run it on Mac OS in here. So the program itself is actually a very simple and easy way for you if you're not an advanced user on iOS to pretty much fix an iPhone, iPad or iPod touch that doesn't power on anymore or it shows some garbage on the screen or it shows the iTunes logo or it's stuck in a boot loop and so on without having to fiddle with iTunes or IPSWs and firmwares and stuff like that which can of course fail. Now this one has been made to be very very simple to use and I'm going to demonstrate that in the next minute. So the program itself is compatible with iOS 12, that's something expected but I'm I'm going to put it to a challenge today to actually see if it works very well with older devices as well. So the program itself looks pretty nice. When you open it and when you download it, you can see that the interface itself is pretty modern. And you have a couple of tools in here that are part of the same bundle. So you have recover, you have switch, you have backup and restore, you have transfer for your data transfer, erase, unlock and repair. We're going to take a look at the repair module in here. And when you purchase these programs, if you want to use more than the uh, free preview or the free trial, you can actually purchase individual modules of the program or the entire thing. Now, if you're pressing here on the repair, this is what we're going to use today. A new application will launch and this this is pretty much the doctor phone repair. Now of course this one can be used in multiple scenarios. If you take a look in here for example we have a device that is stuck in the Apple logo and it's no longer powering on past the Apple logo. We have you know other cases black screen, white screen, recovery mode loop which is actually the case of the device that I have in here as the victim and of course you have in here the instructions on what you need to do. Now the program as I said has been made to be very very simple to use even for the people who are not tech savvy or who are not interested in messing with iOS and its firmware and so on, they just want to fix the phone. Because on iTunes you would normally need to download the IPSW to put the phone in a specific mode and so on manually and it would remove your data and it's actually generally complicated. This one is a simple program that you can use and even if you do not have a lot of iOS knowledge, it's still simple to use. So um, the instructions are very well read. You're pressing here on start and you have the advanced mode if you need more power than that if the phone doesn't work with the normal mode but for the moment we're going to try with the normal mode so it says in here note hardware failure is not supported to repair now this is actually something very obvious you cannot fix hardware problems like a cracked screen or a broken PCB component and stuff like that on the phone with a software you would need a spare part in that case and I would definitely recommend you to bring the phone to an actual professional in order to do that however if the problem is software then this one can help. Now of course this is going to update your device to the latest version after repairing. So if you're jailbroken you're going to lose that jailbreak and you're going to be updated to the latest version available for your phone or iPod or iPad. So yeah you should keep that in mind too. We're going to press start in here and it gives us a bunch of tips. But before we go through this let me actually show you what the iPod is showing on the screen and why we need to fix it. So uh, this is pretty much the device we're going to try to fix. As you can see, if I try to power it on in here, uh, there we go. It's going to show you the Apple logo, but it's not going to power on. It's pretty much going to show the uh, iTunes logo in there. And that's pretty much as much as it's going to, to go. So yeah, nothing. So we're going to try to fix it. So as you can see, it's no longer booting past that red iTunes logo, so we're going to try to fix it in here, but the information that is given in the program is actually very important. So try not to use, you know, loose connections or poor cables or aftermarket cheap cables for the iPhone, because these can create problems with the connection and the phone may stop restoring midway. 
Another thing you should keep in mind is when using hubs or extension cords for the USB. If you're using a USB hub to pretty much connect your phone to the computer, make sure that it's an actual powered hub, because if it's not and it cannot deliver the uh, necessary power for the phone, it may stop the restore in the middle of the process, which can be dangerous. Now, I would definitely recommend you to plug the phone directly into the USB port of the computer and to avoid any extension cords or any USB hubs, but if you must use a hub, I would definitely recommend you a powered one. Now we're going to press OK in here and we're going to get some instructions on how to put the phone in DFU mode or device firmware update. This one is a mode that would let the phone to be restored to the latest version and of course it will fix most of the software problems with iOS. So the instructions in here are available for other iDevices. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, which the procedure of course is different, and of course the iPhone 8 8 plus or 10 and of course the newer where again the procedure is different. I'm going to choose other devices because this one is an iPod touch fifth generation so we're going to press start in here and it tells us that we have to hold the power button and the home button at the same time and of course we have to keep on it until the phone restarts. Now I have to release the power button but keep pressing the home button until the program detects everything. So yeah, as you can see here, it detected automatically the uh, device type and it says iPod, that is correct. It says iPod Touch 5, which is again correct. And it detected the model in here. I'm not sure about it, but it seems to be correct. And then of course, the iOS version that is supported for it. And in this case, this device cannot run past iOS 9.3.5. So that is the latest version. Now we're going to press download in here and it's going to start downloading the firmware for you and of course once it's downloaded it's going to install it automatically. However, the uh, download procedure is going to take a while so I'm going to be right back once it finishes. So as you can see in here it says that firmware matched successfully and it has downloaded the firmware. Now all you have to do is to press fix now in here and the restore process will begin. Now, as you can see, it says repair iOS to normal, and this progress bar in here will start to increase. Now, you don't have to do anything else but this, you just have to wait, and I'm going to be right back once it finishes, because it's kind of long. As you can see, it's 56%. Now, it's going to take less than 10 minutes, so we're going to wait for it. I'm going to be right back when it finishes. Now, as you can see, it finally finished. It says in here, repair iOS to normal mode completely, and yeah, it's pretty much restored the phone. I'm going to check now the phone to see if it works, so I'm going to press done and let's check the phone. So yeah, as you can see in here, the uh, device is now finally working, it booted normally and I can use it properly. So yeah, definitely it worked and yeah, thank you for watching, don't forget to check out the program in the description down below. I'm Gio Snow and till the next time, peace out!